start with the bird load. Make sure nothing catastrophic has happened. Right on. I would say there's not anything wrong with the gun. <laughs> Pretty safe bet that there's nothing wrong with the gun. Good try though. Good try, squirrel. Yeah, I always blame something. It's me. It must be me. I must be pulling my face off the... I don't know how I could be doing that out of the... It's a red dot. Right. You put the red dot where it's supposed to go. Right. Right. Target paddock. I, I don't know. I don't have an excuse. I really don't. <laughs> I'm not going to quit making excuses. I don't have an excuse. Well, you guys haven't had a tour of my crib yet. Let's, let's, let me move some things around so we can have a tour of my crib. All right, tour of me casa, me traveling casa. Got the bike on the back of my hitch haul. We got a case of waters there. Now, you have to excuse me, it's been about a week and my floor needs vacuuming. I haven't had house cleaning, cleaning come in yet, so she's looking a little rough from throwing the cooler up into here for the traveling portion of the uh, day. But that's how I live. <clears throat> Got the cot in here. Six foot cot, long bed truck, works perfect. Longer bed truck, not long bed. But uh, I sleep with either. I can put my feet under the, under the shelf up there, which has my stove, soft-sided cooler, a little thing full of my Odd and ends, extra shells, uh, rain suit, knife, extra gloves, extra head nets, all that stuff. So in that little bag, keep my boots there. My sleeping bag, it gets pulled out, obviously, down the cot when it's time for sleeping. This is a clothes bag full of odd and end clothing that I will pull over to here when it's time for sleeping. Got couple little totes under there as you can see there's ziploc bags and some food items in that one's where you can get knives forks paper plates salt pepper all that kind of stuff a bigger one up under there further it's where i got more uh i got a you know socket set tire plugs air com little air compressor that you plug into the deal into the truck outlet got some rope and Ratchet straps, all that kind of stuff is in there. And that stays up under the cot. And got my Mr. Buddy heater for the cold nights. I'll pop it on just to take a second. Inside that container behind it is where you'll find, let's see, I, can, I know I've got my fan in there for the warm nights. And just for a little noise there. Let's see, I got that and borax, my hammock tarps a couple tarps in there sleeping pad thermocell refills more rope that kind of stuff is in there there's my shelf it's got my stuff on it got the cooler here for the goods and that's about it pretty simple got my stool here that's for doing the business when you on the road is for as much as we are and you get tired of squatting to do your business, so you get yourself a little stool. That actually was a, uh, a camp table, I think, that we cut a little hole in so we can do our business in comfort. Let's see, here's all that. In the back, I have my clothes hung up there. There's all my clothes. That's where they stay. Keep my vest here. My gun's typically right behind that, right there. But it's over there in squirrels. Here is the laptop where all the footage goes. There's a vest. Let's see. And then uh, 
Up front we have extra battery chargers and battery packs and coffee cups and odd and ends like that. So pretty. Oh, I got my little table that slides. That little table folds down and slides under my cot as well as this container which has, what does it have? It has all the, some chips, some beef jerky, granola bars, almonds, cliff bars, what's left of some bread, some soup. There's my little coffee brewing pot, some peanuts, that kind of stuff's in that one, and that slides up under the cot as well. It goes right in there. And that's about it. I got every little nook and cranny in this thing full. But that's how we live on the road. Wouldn't have it any other way. Always gotta make some time to go turkey hunting somewhere where I live out of my truck because it's the way I've done it, started doing it, and enjoy doing it. Wouldn't have it any other way. Sitting here looking at the footage from this morning and moving things over. Kept hearing something in the leaves and looked up and there's a hen. Literally walked right up here to the truck. To where we've been camping. She goes right down there. <laughs> Crazy. Some days you just can't shake them. <laughs>